Hey internet cats and kittens, this is Jason Collins with ManufacturedHomes.com. Today we have chased down this gorgeous Sunshine 32 by 80. Guys, this is the Prime 2049. We are at Star Homes in Coleman, Alabama, and we're about to jump inside this beauty and take a look at what she has to offer. So stay tuned. Once again, this is a Sunshine home, and if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you know Sunshine makes some of the most gorgeous homes that you're going to find. And this Prime 2049 is no exception, guys. This is a gorgeous home. Now, I do want to caution you right up front. This home was purchased by, by Star Homes here in Coleman at a recent show, and so they haven't quite got it put completely together yet. But I was in town and I wanted to make sure that you guys had an opportunity to check this one out. So we're going to ignore some of the things because I think this one has enough awesomeness to sort of, you know, make up for the fact that they're still putting this one together. But I wanted to make sure you guys got to see it right away. So let's jump in and take a look. I'm having to be my own cameraman today, so I do apologize for that. But we are going to take a look at this gorgeous 32 by 80 home some of the features that it has to offer for you. And I think you guys will be impressed with what we've got. So let me flip this around really quickly. And I want you guys to take a look at, there we go. Take a look at this accent wall in the living room. We have got a super nice brick with a electric fireplace. Great place to put that big screen television. Oh, and check it out. It's already pre-wired for just about anything that you would need um, in order to set up your entertainment system, which I think is awesome. Over here, we've got some built-in cabinetry, which is always fun to see. And we'll spin her around here. Once again, this home is, is in the process of being put together, so it doesn't even have electricity in it, but I wanted to make sure that you guys got a chance to see the awesomeness of this home. I'm going to spin this around. There we go. All right, guys, let's take a look really quickly at the awesome cabinets that come in this home. Now, this kitchen is fantastic, and I want you to pay attention to a couple things here because there's some things here that I really like. One of them is I really like the subway tile backsplash, and I'll get a closer shot of that in just a moment. I'm going to explain to you why having that is important, but I also want you to take a look at these whitewashed cabinets. Um, this home comes standard with adjustable height shelving in, in the cabinet, so you can adjust these. They've got peg holes all the way up. You can adjust the shelf height in these cabinets to match your needs. Have you ever gone into a kitchen and you went to put something in the cabinet and the canister or the container or whatever was just a little bit too tall and it wouldn't fit in there, you can make those adjustments on this one so that this cabinet, these cabinets fit your lifestyle and that's super important. Once again, guys, this, this home has got some of the features in it that we are really beginning to see all over the industry. Um, the, the stainless steel apron sink with the sprayer wand is pretty much a standard feature in your higher end homes and we're even seeing it in some of the price point homes and i want to show you this because this is the first floor plan i think that i have seen this pass through from the kitchen to the dining area and i really really like that i like the fact that this has an open concept floor plan if you've watched the channel for any length of time you know that I like the fact that in modern manufactured homes, you can have the family together and be in different parts of the house. Mom and dad can be in the kitchen. Maybe, maybe Sally or Johnny is at this awesome, humongous center island in the kitchen with a breakfast bar. Maybe Susie or Johnny are there doing their homework and maybe somebody else is over here in the living room area, you know, 
watching television, jamming some video games, doing whatever they're doing. And then everybody still feels connected, right? Because it's all one big room, and I think that's awesome. Another cool feature in this house I wanted to show you guys is this. We're seeing barn doors a lot in new floor plans, but what I like about this one is, look, it's got a little shoe cubby down here. So you come in, and once again, solid surface flooring, okay? Awesome weathered gray solid surface flooring. So you come in the door, you know, it's been raining, it's muddy or whatever. You can come over here, you can take your shoes off, you can put them in the shoe cubby, and then you just simply close it up. And when company comes, they don't have to look in at whatever it is you've chosen to store there. I really, really like the rustic pipe shelf holders. Look at this. Look at that. That's a first for me. That's the first time I've seen that in one of these homes. That is super cool. We're seeing so much more. Let me, let me get this around so we can see each other. We're seeing so much more really neat and cool stuff in floor plans today. And like I said, this home came from a recent show, so it's really topped out, you know, with the features and stuff that's going on with it. Let's sneak back in the back and see what this thing has to offer back, in, back here. Once again, guys, that pass through from the kitchen to the dining area. I think that having a little bit of separation from the kitchen to the dining area, I think that makes it a little more formal. I think that gives it a little more, um, I think that gives it a little more of a formal sort of um, traditional look and feel. Um, and having that pass through just makes it work. It just works out so well for it because it's a separate room, but it's still connected to that space over there um, because it's got this giant pass through. But let's sneak in the back and take a look. Again, solid surface flooring in all of the common areas of the house. One of my favorite rooms, the utility room. So I want you to take a look at what we've got to offer in here. We have got a deep utility sink, okay? We've got, again, you know, we've got this gooseneck with the, oh, hang on, we've got the gooseneck with the retractable sprayer. We've got the same gray cabinets and gray countertops and white cabinets that we saw in the kitchen area. And obviously we've got space over here for washer and dryer. Got some cabinetry above. And then let's spin around and take a look right over here. Here we've got your, your switch box. Obviously that's important. 200 amp service on this one. Which is, which is awesome. And let's peek in here. What have we got right here? We have got another coat closet. Now let's talk about this a little bit. Those of you who are subscribers to the channel probably know what I'm about to say. I think that the utility room is one of the unsung heroes in terms of functional areas of the house. And the reason I say that is this. I like the fact that we've got an outside door on the utility room. I like the fact that we've got solid surface flooring in the utility room. And I like the fact that we've got a coat closet. And I like all that for this reason. If you are a sportsman, if you hunt, if you fish, if you work in a job that requires you to be outside, if you play sports, um, there comes a time when your shoes are probably going to be dirtier than you would like to wear throughout the house. When you've got a utility room with a door and hard surface flooring and a deep utility sink and a closet, you don't have to worry about that because you can come in, you can take off those dirty clothes, you can toss them in the washer, you can put your muddy shoes away, you can get fresh clothes out of the closet and put them on, you can, do, you can wash up at the sink, and all of this happens in an area that is not going to spoil the rest of the house. And I know my wife would appreciate something like that. I'm sure the ladies out there 
um, can identify with that. You know, it's so tough, especially if you got kids, if you got pets, to keep the house clean. So anytime um, the manufacturer can build in a feature that makes your life easier, it's just a better day. Moving right along, this is the second bath. And in this one, we've got fiberglass tub shower surround. All white, super, super. Even though, look, I want you to, I want you to pay attention to something. Even though this little window up here is all of the light that is coming into this room, because again, this house is brand new. They haven't finished setting it up yet, because that's all the light that we're getting in here but because this bathroom has all white, everything in this bathroom is white except the floor, and it's got the same flooring that it does in the rest of the house, but the walls are white, the ceiling is white, okay? And then, obviously, you see the door is white. Everything in here is white, so you've got this really, really well-lit space, and there's not even any electricity on it. I think that's pretty cool. And then as we move out of this part of the bathroom, we can see that there is a really, really nice size linen closet. Let's cruise on through. The number two and number three bedrooms. Take a quick look here. This is probably gonna be the smallest of the bedrooms. It has a walk-in closet or what I call, and I don't even know if this is like a a real thing to say or whatever, but I call this sort of like a semi walk-in closet. Um, but it's super spacious. It's got comes with shelving and rods already installed. Got a light going on there. You know, in this little room, if you if you needed a home office space, I think this one would probably work really, really well for that. You know, one of the things I always like to point out is the improvements in finish, the improvements in, I find the thing, the improvements in just really how they're building homes today. And for years, manufactured homes sort of had the reputation of being plain on the inside. You know, they had flat doors and all that stuff. And we're really seeing a lot of residential look and feel items in modern manufactured homes. And I, I use the word residential to differentiate between factory built homes and site built homes. And those lines are really, really beginning to blur because manufactured homes are really, really becoming nice. I mean, they're putting some super neat stuff in. Let's press on and take a look. So this would be the number two bedroom or the number three bedroom. I'd have to look on the floor plan to see. This one is basically the same layout that we had in the other one. All right, let's go sneak into the master. Oh, we've got, oh, that's right, I forgot. This is a four bedroom. This is a four bedroom, two bath. I forgot about that. So we've got two small bedrooms on the end, and then we've got a bigger bedroom down here. That's right. Jason, pay attention. Four bedroom, two bath, 32 by 80. That makes perfect sense. All right. Now, I caution you guys again. They're putting this one together, so there's going to be some stuff that's not quite right in here in terms of siding and different things that are around. But I want you to take a look at the size of this master bedroom. This thing is really, really nice sized. And I can already tell you, just from taking a little peek in here, that we have got a nice master bath. His and her sinks, we see that almost in every double and triple, and even in a lot of single wides, we're seeing it, okay? So that is not really surprising. What I really like is that we've got 
Um, we've got cabinetry on both sides of the his and hers areas here. I like that. I like, and we're really running out of light here. I like that this thing has a really, 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 really nice walk-in closet. And it has an awesome soaker tub right in the middle here. You get in there and soak your woes away. And ta 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 ta. Walk in tile shower with rain head, detachable wand, and a fiberglass bench. Really looks like that. The bottom part of this one is really just a whole fiberglass pan. I don't know if I've seen that yet. That's pretty interesting. All right. Let's sneak outside and take a look. Hey, really quickly before we go outside, I just want to say if you guys like the content that we're producing, I need you to do a couple things. I need you to subscribe. That is super, super important. I need you to like this video, and then I also need you to ring that notification bell so you get notified twice a week when we drop new content. And as always, leave me a comment. Let me know, do you like this super big 32 by 80 sunshine home? Do you like single wides, triple wides? You tell me what you want to see, and I'll go wherever I need to go in the United States to chase down those homes so we can show you guys what you want to see. Like, subscribe, comment, ring the notification bell, all that youtube -y stuff, man, so, it, so we can get in front of the algorithm, so we can keep showing up on your news feed. That helps us to bring you what you want to see. But I know what you want to see right now, and we're going to sneak outside, take a couple of looks at the outside, show you some details out there, so hang on. All right, this is the outside, guys, the Sunshine Homes 2049 at Star Homes in Coleman, Alabama. There's a couple things I want to show you guys that I think is neat. Number one, we've got neat stone accents, two places, over a double dormer on the front. And you know, I talk about this all the time. I talk about how modern manufactured homes are doing a great job of, you know, making things look a bit more residential, a little less trailer-like. Um, I know a lot of people don't like to use that term. Um, manufactured housing has grown so much beyond what it used to be. Even 10, 15 years ago when I got started in this business, I see improvements. I see nice wood shutters, four-inch low-maintenance vinyl siding, Obviously, we've got aluminum frame, vinyl clad windows, double pane windows with low E glass. That's gonna make your home cooler in the summer, warmer in the winter. Just a super nice home. Inset front door. I love everything about this one. And I hope you do too. So this is it, guys. This is the Sunshine Homes 2049, super nice double wide. We are at Star Homes in Coleman, Alabama. If you'd like to find out more information about this home or any of the homes that they've got in inventory, you can find them online at starhomescoleman.com. And as always, you can find information on this home and a lot more like it at manufacturedhomes.com. I'm Jason Collins. We're chasing homes, and I will see you next time.